Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to another IP Tech. Today we will be going over the um, night vision effect I did with that scope, uh, sniper scope effect thing going on. I didn't go over it in the other tutorial. Uh, it was running on a little long, so I went ahead and decided to go ahead go with two different tutorials for you guys. That way you can kind of pick which one you want to do. If you haven't seen the original, um, I definitely uh, encourage you guys to go ahead and pause this one right now. Go ahead, go watch the original. Um, there's a lot of good tips and tricks in that one, as well as explaining, you know, the process of coming up or going through this whole sniper scope effect. Um, this one will strictly be based on um, the night vision portion of it. So once again, if you haven't seen the original, go watch it, because um, I won't. I will be making references to that video, but if you haven't seen it, you'll probably be a little lost. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So. Um, we, we obviously have our original, okay, this is our original basically, um, minus color correction, um, and basically we have David coming through, we have him walking, and then he gets sniped in this area here, boom, alright, so all in all, we know what we're doing, we know where we're at, so the night vision was kind of an afterthought, I was playing around when I was going to do this tutorial for you guys, and I, came, I was like, hey, night vision. So I went ahead, I googled a few pictures of actual night vision. Um, and I came up with, a, you know, those reference pictures and stuff like that. Most of the time, it's really, it's an overall green feel to the image. But the blacks are like a really, really dark, dark green black. And then all the other stuff kind of glows. And it illuminates from the light. Um, this scene itself is not set up particularly for perfect um, night vision effect. Uh, simulation. I mean, right now I'm outside. The sun's up over in this area here. Um, you, you got these slits here that are kind of uh, showing light, but it will it will this it will demonstrate kind of the process of going through the whole night vision effect. I will probably revisit it later um, and probably set up my lights and stuff like that at actual nighttime to see how I can get an actual, you know, um, night vision an authentic night vision feel to it but for this we'll just go ahead and um, we'll just pretend this is perfect alright so we have an ori our, our original footage or whatever the case may be um, I usually do comp it differently and I comp it and then slide into another composition just so it's all one there's no excess files and then I can go ahead and mess with it there um, I have my color correction and stuff like that now let's go ahead and assume <clears throat> that our shot has been um, color corrected and it's either night vision is an afterthought or you just want to be able to switch between the two um, easily you know you're watching then he goes into a dark spot you're like oh switch night vision on and then it does the whole little sound effect it goes Voo! whatever the case may be so what we'll do is um, let's go ahead and start with the actual night vision itself what this is this is just a uh, adjustment layer okay you would just go a layer new you would just select the adjustment layer and then what I went ahead and did is I grabbed a tint and my colors would have been this really dark green I mean it's almost black you can on the web it's probably looking straight black but it's a little on the greener side as you can see here it's like a seven green and we want it to be that way because of the color correction um, you don't have to uh, you don't have to compensate for color correction per se. Um, I did because I wanted to show you guys a few things, um, and also I'll, 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 I'll get to that point in a minute. So, and then we would have our other green, our full blown green, right here. Uh, these are the the parameters: 82, 167, and 73. But that's what I used. Um, your shot will definitely be different, so don't don't follow what I do. Just kind of see what I do and adjust it accordingly to your uh, footage itself alright uh, so I have a tint I have a brightness and contrast and I have a glow and then down here I have my levels alright now I'm gonna go ahead and go through this step with you guys really quick so let's go and turn all this stuff off and then I'll just pretend I'm putting it on as we go so I'm gonna drop this down a minute okay perfect okay so We'll add our tint, okay, that's just a tint on that adjustment layer like we were speaking about earlier. You just, it's just a regular adjustment layer. You add your tint, and then you would add your brightness and contrast. And what we want to do with that is we want to have a really high contrast to it. Um, not this extreme, that's a little too much. 
but to go to 35 and what that does is it brightens up the brights and it darkens up the darks obviously okay now with an actual um, actual uh, night vision it grabs whatever light that is there and it magnifies it and it it pulls it to the extremes and that's kind of the effect we want to go with and so that way what we're going to do is we're going to add a glow and as you can see here the glow itself pulls whatever's light okay and it and it makes it shine a little bit more okay like you can see he's kinda in the shadows here so he's not really glowing because it's going into the dark but the white here that would be reflecting a lot of light here is being grabbed and that's what the glow is kinda doing here um, the parameters for that is well 43 percent threshold 56 radius and 20 percent intensity um, but once again, your footage is going to be different. So um, those aren't the parameters you necessarily need to use. But we want to, uh, once again, just kind of bring up the lights and the darks. And with that being said, we will also add a levels. And as you can see here, we go from kind of a dark to a really light. All right. And then with the levels, all I did was I just grabbed my levels and I took this white meter it's here and I just brought it down okay because um, once again we want the we want the darks to be dark and you can even take the center and move it to one side or the other so the darks really dark and we can bring these lights up um, in this fashion but I was manipulating this due to my color correction in the other comp okay now I want to show you guys a neat little trick so we went ahead and we added all these parameters and we kind of got the look we wanted okay now we know that we did some color correction or color grading so what we will do is we'll come over here to our other account well let's go back to the first and we will lock this window this effects window with this little lock see this up here yeah and what that does is we're allowed to change comps while keeping those effects viewable so though we're looking at a different comp we're still able to control other composition effects by locking it up in this left hand corner here so now what we can do we have our color correction added let me unlock that really quick we have our colorista 2 color correction color grading um, depending on you know your workflow we have going on here um, we have that set up and ready to go here so I'm able to actually come back here and turn off and on our night vision and come back here and it still looks good so it's it allows you to pick which way you want it to be or turn it off and on within that color correction without having to create multiple adjustment layers alright so we have it locked here real quick and turn on our um, night vision here and it's locked we'll go ahead go back to our final comp and now we're able to adjust it accordingly so let's see it's not bright enough we can go over here to our brightness and we can brighten it up a little too extreme there Phil um, once again by, by being able to control what is in that other comp by locking those effects there but looking at it in the final composition so that's definitely a little tip and trick right there I love to do it that way because um, then I can just control things a lot better and see how it manipulates in the final version um, alright and then so we go through all that whatever the case may be I also went ahead let's keep those there um, oh the the lines of course we gotta have the ring blur on uh, let's take it off for now we have the lines now these lines is simple it's just the effect of the uh, Venetian blinds okay transitions 15 percent direction is 90 degrees so they're straight horizontal uh, the width for me was six and then the feather was two. You always want to feather that. But this effect itself, what it does is it um it darkens it up because of the fact that watch this. If you look closely, turn the night vision off. If you look here, you can see that it's see through. Okay, because all we're doing is we're taking that bottom footage because this once again is an adjustment layer. We're taking that bottom footage and we're just adding the the lines to it which is making it see through and it gives you that digital uh, that digital night vision look rather than the standard without you know the digital lines or whatever the case may be um, 
And there's, you know, there's two ways of doing that. You can either have the lines or not. That's your preference. I just wanted to put them in there just to show you guys another neat little trick. Um, just feather the edges and you're set and ready to go. Um, now, when we're doing it this way, like as far as having the the converter on the lens, once again, um, if you didn't watch the first one, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But I have a lens converter that tells that turns into telephoto lens. Then I just open, I just zoom it out so I can see the edges of the lens here. Um, we would then, if we just added it to the adjustment layer, we would then start getting lines on this part of the scope here, um, which we wouldn't want because we would be looking through the lens. So all I did was I added a mask. Where's my mask at? Here we go. I took the same mask that we use for the ring blur, because you know how the it has those two masks on it. I grabbed the out one, the outside one, which would probably be number one if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I just took it and I stuck it on the lens or the line, the digital line layer, and it's the exact same size. So now it's not affecting this outside part. You just turn it to add, but it's only ex uh, affecting what's in the inside here. All right. Um, and then that's that's pretty much basically it. Uh, you just mess with the colors. I mean, there's no wrong or right way of doing it as long as it looks good. Um, as you can see, the, the overall tint and green affects all this because the light that would be coming through would be tinting the scope itself from that. But those digital lines probably wouldn't be over that part of the scope. Maybe, maybe not. Um, you're the artist. You get to make it up as you go. Um, and then I went ahead and I used my red crosshairs. Once again, which will be available, all the crosshairs here will be available for you guys uh, to download. That one's a little unscaled because of the last tutorial. But anyways, um, for you guys to use uh, freely, no big deal. Um, once again, check out the last tutorial. It explains a lot of stuff. Um, but I think that's it. I mean, it's already been about 12 minutes here. You can see it here. Um, 12 minutes. So um, I think I am done with this. So thanks for watching, you guys. Um, once again, subscribe, comment, thumbs up so other people know that... Uh, that it's a good tutorial to watch. I will I will revisit the whole night vision set up and scene at night time and see how well of an effect I can get from that. But this one right here is strictly for this last tutorial as far as the sniper scope effect to get it for that. Um you would probably don't want the sign, you would want a, a lamp, you know, single light source or something. Either way, you guys take care. You guys have been great. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit up the Facebook fan page. Uh, links and everything are in the description. The download will be available soon. Uh, can't really think of anything else. So you guys take care and I'm done. Yeah. I'm done.